So in the series of learning Python programming language, we have discussed one coding exercise in the last video, program to find out like average height from the list of heights, right? So we'll be seeing one more exercise in this video. This is the, the you know, this is a similar type of exercise that we have discussed in the last video. So I recommend to watch out that video first. Then definitely without, you know, looking at the solution of this video, you can easily solve this problem. You can, you can easily write down this problem. Sorry, this program. Now, what is this program? You have to write down a program to find out maximum number from a list of numbers. Now, that's very simple. I hope you know the logic to find out maximum number from a list or from array, something like this. You must have, I think, you must have done this thing in another, in another language, right? So, I guess you know the logic to find out maximum number, right? Logic is same, only the syntax is different. How to write down for loop, how to write down if statement. But that is, you know, how to write down for loop and if statement. So that is all you need to know for solving this problem. Okay, anyway, let me just give you some hint also. First, note down some points. First thing, you will take input using input function from the user, right? Second thing, what you need to do? You cannot use max inbuilt function is there there is inbuilt function max and whenever you pass list here it will automatically give you the maximum number but no you cannot use this inbuilt function you have to replicate its functionality using for loop okay now some hint is here also you can use that split you need to use split function and no need to use i think no you will have to use a range function also right so split and range so these two functions we have seen in the last video also how to use these functions and what is the functionality of these functions. It will split basically a string into a list and separate out each element into the, that list, right? And put those element into that list, separate out each element from the string. It depends what use, to, you know, you are using a separator as a space or a comma, whatever you want to use, you can use. Range is what it simply produce or generate a series of numbers. By default, it will start from zero. And ending point you have to give. Suppose you are giving range five, so it will give one, two, three, four, five. Five numbers, not till five, five numbers. From zero, it will start by default. But if you want to start from anywhere else, you can specify start point and end point. That's it, right? So I guess now that is all you need to know to solve this problem, right? So now you can pause the video and try this out. So I hope you have done this exercise. If not, it's okay. We'll see the solution, right? Now we'll creating a new file and I'm going to name this coding exercise 15.py. It's 15, right? So first of all, what we'll do? Obviously, we'll take input from the user. So suppose I'm taking numbers is equal to using input function. Okay, now we have list of numbers. Suppose we have list of numbers, something like this. 34, 45, 12, minus 8, 9, 67, something like this, right? So this is now using input function we have taken. So this is a string. You have to split this out, convert into a list. And each, this 34, 45, this should be element of list. So using split function, we can do this like numbers dot split because in numbers we have this these all numbers so numbers dot split and what is the separator here simple space so we will not pass anything as argument right okay so this the name of the list i'm giving numbers underscore list okay i'll be storing the list now i have a list of numbers this but the problem is still every element is what a string and we want obviously integer right if you want to check out you can print this numbers list and I'll show you the output let me run run this for you and I'll be entering the number something like this okay now let's run this see it will give you it has converted this into list separate separate items but these items are still a string but you want we want integer so you have to convert each and every item into integer right so obviously we will have to access the list suppose this is our list so you have to traverse this list from zero from 34 to 67 from starting to end 
and how we can access element of list using index index would be started from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 so we we need a range of you know you can say a sequence of uh, numbers from 0 to whatever element it is am okay so that we can do first of all obviously you have to find out length so you how you will find you will find out the list because to traverse these element you have to put suppose i'm traversing these elements so for any variable name from like i in numbers list if you write down this thing like this i'm taking numbers list and access 34 45 12 but how to access maybe you are thinking directly we can write what numbers list and in bracket we will write down i because in i first of all we have 34 then 45 then 12 right yeah you are right but let's see what happens and convert it into let uh, uh, what integer so we'll access numbers list i convert it into int and then again we'll assign to the same list right okay let's run this and after that we will suppose you want to print the list after converting so this printing would be definitely from out of this for loop only one line is indented so let's run this and see what output you will get 134 and something like oh sorry enter here see you will get an error type error list indices must be integer or slice not integer in line number six in line number six list indices this index should be integer not string because this i in first at first in i we have 34 and 34 is still a string so this index cannot be a string it should be integer and that is what exactly we want to convert each and every element into integer so we cannot do this thing what we can do we can simply like rather than obviously numbers list we will not i don't want 34 i want 0 2 till the length of the list minus 1 so we have a range function you can use the range function from 0 to how to find out length of this using for loop we can find out right so first obviously we cannot use length function okay so we will not using length function if you can use length function so simply you can write, write down length and numbers list it will give the length of this so here it will give 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 0 to 6 so it will print 0 to it will generate the numbers 0 to like uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 if suppose we are taking example of this list so it will generate till 6 element length is 6 so till length minus 1 till 5 and that's exactly what you want at first time in i we will be having because at that time of at the place of this range is 0 to this now we have this thing so first in i 0 would be assigned so int numbers list 0 at 0th index we have 34 so 34 would be converted into int and then again 34 would be assigned to here i is now first time 0 in the same list so 34 is now integer not string right if you don't want to use length function using for loop also we can find out the length how we can find out let's see let's take a variable count any variable you can take right and with for loop suppose i am taking a variable any variable you can take i also same variable in all the loops right or different also it's up to you so here i am taking suppose same variable i am taking suppose i or let's take a other variable name any meaningful like uh, number in numbers list right so for each number i'll be increasing the count count plus equal to one or count is equal to count plus one right here one now simply let's print here the length of the list okay let's uh, just uh, use here f string so we'll be writing like uh, count i hope you know just you remember still 
the syntax of f string and why f string is to be used. If not, you can check out the playlist we have discussed this thing. So the length of the list is this and rather than here using length function, we can simply write down count or no need to specify 0 because by default range will print number from 0 to whatever you will give here count minus 1, right? Okay, let's run this. Okay, 1, 23, any number I am taking like here, these numbers. See now, the length of the list is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and now see, the list is because we have printed the list. But these are integer not string because they are not into these quotes, single quote or double quote. Okay, now that's fine. We are now having a list of integer. Now you can easily write down the syntax of the logic of finding maximum number right okay rather than printing the number list here let's remove this and okay how to find out maximum let us suppose we have a variable do not take max because max is what c max is what a function here inbuilt function so maximum suppose maximum underscore number equal to either you can take 0 here or you can take suppose I am uh, whatever list I will be taking suppose this example. So I am assuming the first number from the list is maximum number. So I am assuming from this list numbers list first 0th index whatever is that 0th index that is maximum number. Now I will compare this with every element right. So and if any element is greater than this, this 34, then we will, we will set that number maximum number. So how you can do, you have to traverse for that the complete list. For traversing, we have for loop. So for any variable you can take like, suppose number again, I am taking for number in numbers list, right. Now you have to check if, if this number is greater than whatever maximum number we have set at starting greater than this maximum number then if this is the case then we will do maximum number is equal to number that is it and at last after uh, you know uh, out of this for loop we will simply print maximum number using f string we will printing right. So in which we have maximum number which variable the variable is maximum number. I hope this is not confusing this is very simple the logic of finding this this logic finding maximum number at first at because still here I got I think you have got everything how to convert this one. Now see maximum number is a variable and numbers list. So in maximum number now we have in maximum number now we have 34 right. Now numbers list here numbers list is suppose this complete list I am taking this example right. So numbers list will be this will be replaced by this list. So at first in number we have 34. So let us check. 34 in number list yes this is true so enter here if number number is now 34 34 greater than maximum number in maximum number in maximum number we have 34 no not greater than because these are equal right so will not enter here check for next iteration now 45 would be assigned to this number right now 45 in numbers list yes it is there so true we will enter here at this point of time in number we have at this point of time we have in number we have 45 so 45 greater than and in maximum number in maximum number this variable we still have 34 34 is this condition true yes this condition is true so enter in this if block statement and now maximum number becomes number because whatever number whatever is on the right hand side in this uh, this assignment operator that would be assigned to left hand side variable so in number at this point of time we have 45 so 45 would be assigned in maximum number so maximum number now becomes 45 right so this is how it will be treated now for third thing 
12 because we haven't reached till the last element of the list. 12, 12. So 12 be, will be assigned to this number. 12 greater than, now at this time we have here 12, 12 greater than, now maximum number is 45 because in this variable we have now 45. So greater than 45. Is this condition true? No. Okay. Skip this, this statement. Will not enter here. Minus 8. Now in number we have minus 8, minus 8 in this number list, yes, minus 8 greater than maximum number, no, skip this, then 89, in number we have 89, like this it would be treated, right. So finally from this list 89 would be printed, okay. So let us run this for this same example, okay, enter list of numbers. The length of the list is 6 and the maximum number is 89. I hope you got this. This was very simple. So the main idea was just to get you familiar with for loop rather than using the inbuilt functions, right? How to use a split, how to use like this range. Obviously the range we will be discussing in next video in detail. This is just basic. So I guess you have done this exercise successfully because the similar type of thing we have done in previous exercise also, right? So if you have watched my previous video, then it's very easy for you. Okay, now the next video we'll see about range function in detail, right? So now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.